This is one of the overlooks here in Arches National Park. So we'll do a 360 for you. Those are little Sal Mountains in the background. They're very close to Monticello, which is very close to where my brother lives in Telluride, Colorado. Well, the Sal Mountains are in the 12,000 foot category. And if you listen very closely, you can hear the barking of a small dog in the background. The no doggy part. Every time we leave the car, she voices this objection. Listen to it. It's digging your... That's our doggy. And as we continue down the 20-mile uh, road into the heart of Arches National Park, we have this continuing display of marvelous redstone, or rather, sandstone sculptures. That's the flip-off rock right there. Yeah. Right there is the flip-off rock. Look at this one. Look, look, look. Probably for this turnout. That's probably sand. I'm guessing. Great. <laughs> They're all over, aren't they? Look at that. That's at an angle. I wonder if it has something to do with that. I would call it vertical, no, I would call it horizontal arch. <clears throat> We're currently passing through the campground at Arches National Park. Hot camping, as Kyla observed, due to the lack of tall trees, but extremely beautiful camping here. And we're fortunate. We're here at a rather pleasant time of the year. What would you guess the temperature to be right now, Gaila? Oh, I think it's maybe between, it's between 75 and 80. Probably right or close to 80. I would guess mid-70s, probably. Yeah. Depends on the spot you're in. But uh, not a bad thing to wake up to in the morning. Now there was some, there's some spots that are quite, quite nice. There's the loop to come back out. Just taking a sun bath. <laughs> or just example. Yeah. Amber's extremely fond of fit. That's why she's with us. End of the 20 mile road into Na uh, Arches National Park, you come to this area known as the Devil's Garden. There's a a walk that goes out about three miles and passes by several arches. We don't have time to do all those, but we are going to do a couple of them. The sides of the rock here are almost perfectly vertical, as though old Mother Nature had taken a big knife and sliced them in half. Tunnel arch. Uh, arches are much larger than they appear in this picture. We have people standing in them. You would have a better sense of perspective here, but we don't have people standing in them. Walk up the trailhead a ways here at Devil's Garden. We have this unending panorama of sandstone minarets and domes and fins. Might be elephant's foot. Elephant's foot along with this unending panorama of fins and domes and minarets here in the Devil's Garden area of Arches National Park. A quick pan of the, uh, the desert flora and fauna Take a little close examination of the various coloration in the uh, sandstone here. Fluctuates from 
very, very light peach and then much deeper, almost deep orange to black. Now we get some perspective of the size of the arch by seeing the people standing in the archway. And there are several arches in this area. Sculptures here at the Garden of Eden are quite intricate. Large depressions or arches in the wall. Or if you look closely in this view, um, a real arch. That's the main span, the bridge. Quite large, actually. We're standing a considerable distance from it. And in this shot, if you look closely, you can see what is called a window. And that's a giant. And the window is probably a very early arch. A giant piece. And that's a giant phallic symbol, according to Vala, right there. Formation behind it. If you go a little higher, you can see the second window. That's the window one. You have to go a little higher, honey, to this, get it. Yeah, this is perfect. Are you getting it? You need redstone or rather uh, stop it, Amber. <laughs> redstone formations in the park. It's called the Three Gossips. A little bit chauvinistic but uh, and stereotypical, but uh, nevertheless, that's what it's called. Another one of the sculptures as we pass out of the arches. Look.